What you're about to see over the next couple of minutes is the battle for the Iraqi city of Mosul in a way that it's never been seen before. From above and in 360 degrees. In fact, we think this is the first time a live helicopter combat mission has ever been filmed like this. We're on an Iraqi Mi-28 helicopter, more commonly known as a Havoc. They're made by the Russians, but this one is being flown by two Iraqi pilots. It's just taken off from a place called Hammam Ali. That's an airbase about 30 kilometers south of the city of Mosul. We're currently flying north. To our right is the famous Tigris River. We're currently over the West Bank, just so you can get your bearings. My name is Joe Inwood and I'm a BBC journalist. I spent nearly a week living on the base and flying with these pilots. I'm going to be your guide over Mosul as we see the results of years of IS occupation and the battle to take the city back. If you look behind us now, you can see the second helicopter on the mission. It's called a Bell and is made by the Americans. It's an attack and reconnaissance helicopter and is much less heavily armoured than the Havoc. As it happens, just a few days after we shot this footage, one was taken down over Mosul. We think it was the exact helicopter that you're looking at now, though we can't be certain. Both pilots died, though. OK, so we're now over the east part of Mosul. This was the first bit to be retaken by the Iraqi army and is now firmly in their hands. Uh, we're going to cross over to the west now, which is where the fighting has been taking place most recently. Uh, just below us is the fourth bridge. Now, like all the crossings over the Tigris, it's been completely destroyed. So, just ahead of us is the old International Airport. Now, this was a crucial battleground in the fight to take back the city. Just take a look around. Try and imagine that just a couple of years back, this was a busy international terminal. It was only rebuilt in 2007, and well, looking at it now, it's completely destroyed. OK, so the airport is now behind us. Ahead, you should be able to see two big plumes of smoke rising. Just so you get your bearings, we're going to pause and highlight some of the key features in the battle to take back Mosul. Now, flashing red now is the old city. Now, this is where the IS fighters are really dug in, and it's where the fighting has been fiercest. Now, just beyond that is the third bridge. Like all the crossings, it's been completely destroyed. Just in front of that is the old museum. Now, when ISIS took the city a couple of years ago, there was some famous footage that went out, you can see some of it there, of them destroying all the antiquities in the museum, causing outrage around the world. Now, just to the left of that is the Al-Nuri Mosque. Now, it was here that the leader of IS, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, spoke shortly after they declared the caliphate. It's also been the main target of the Iraqi army's offensive on the city. OK, so we're now going to move over to the east side and look at a couple of key features over here. So just to the left of the helicopter are the Nineveh ruins. That's the site of an ancient Assyrian city. Just beyond that is the location of Mosul University. And slightly to the right is the shrine where it's believed that the prophet Jonah was buried. And unfortunately, during the IS occupation, that was significantly damaged. Now, at this point, the helicopters have been circling for more than an hour without firing a shot. This isn't necessarily unusual because they're waiting for targets to come in from the ground as they offer air cover. Look at the front of the helicopter. They're about to get one. Now, just to the right of the front of the helicopter now, we've enlarged an area. Watch closely, you're about to see a tiny flash come up from the ground. That is return fire coming from the fighters on the ground. 
Now, it's impossible to say exactly what the helicopter's target was. We think it's probably something in the old city, most likely the Al Nouri Mosque, because that's where the offensive was taking place while we were filming. And there you have it, the Battle for Mosul, just a tiny, tiny part of it in a way that it's never been seen before.